Well, <laughs> it seems like you all have a few things to talk about. It's good to see you again. Oh, good to see you, Alan. Good. <laughs> good luck with your new job. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. Thank you for humiliating the lot of us. That's not what I was trying to do. Look. You know we were doing our best to convince him to reinstate you. Yeah, but that was your decision, not mine. No, yours is to give up your education to go work for a con artist. You can get an education in other ways besides just going to college. That's Damien talking. No, but it's true. I learned a lot working for the Foundation. Oh, is that how he sold you on this? He didn't sell me on anything. He just gave me a chance to challenge myself. By turning yourself into a sleazy Grimaldi knockoff? <sighs> Damien's shipping company is completely legitimate. The man never drew a legitimate breath in his life. Mom, you know that's not true anymore, right? Look, I, I don't understand how this happened. This morning, you were going back to school. And after a few hours with Damien, it's over. Dad, I have to be honest. I wasn't 100% sure about college in the first place. You sure seemed to be. Because I knew that's what you wanted me to do, and I didn't want to disappoint you. Okay, so you lied to us and opened the door for Damien to interfere? That's not what he's doing. You're darn right he's not, because I'm going to make sure he withdraws the offer and stays the hell out of your life. You don't have the right to make that call. Oh, no? Watch me. Where are you going? I'm going to make sure that he stays away from Luke. You can't do that. Luke's right. It won't solve anything. Okay, fine. What do you suggest? I will go talk to him. No, Mom, I don't want you getting in the middle of this either. Somebody has to. What is the matter with you, dear? Nothing. You must know. You know that there are many, many young people who would cut off their left arms to get a chance to have a college education. Yeah, well, you can tell one of them to put away the axe because a spot just opened up at OU. You know what? It's not funny. You're right. It's not. You know what I would have done to get a college education. Me too. I never had the chance. Yeah, but both of you turned out pretty well. Yeah, but we had to fight. We had to keep fighting to get anything at all. Look. And it galls me, and it galls me, and it kills me, and makes me sick to think that you are just cavalierly turning down opportunities that are just waiting for you. Grandmother, I'm just trying to find my own way instead of taking the path that you guys want me That's to. That's Damien talking again. Dad? I'm not saying that I will never go back to college. Just not right now. I don't understand this. I, I really just don't understand how you can do this. Oh. I guess that just proves that I'm not you. Thank you. Damien. Hey. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm getting my mail. You know what I'm talking about. And Luciano told you I offered him a job. Yeah, I, and that he's not going back to college. He told me he was going to think about it. Why would you do this? You know he should be in school. I know that's what everyone thinks he should do. I, he seemed conflicted, so I offered him an alternative. Why would you do that? So he has an option. So, so you know, he can make up his own mind about what's best for him. And for you. Look, I... I won't deny it's what I was hoping for, but I left the decision up to him. What kid is going to turn down a fancy job so that he can stay home and do homework and take tests? You know, when you put it that way, I don't see how you can do anything else. This isn't funny. No, it's not. It's the child's life, and it's his decision. Jamil, don't you want him to learn how to be independent? At what cost? Look, he, he wants to try something new. And there's no guarantee he'll even like it. For all you know, this will be the thing that convinced him to go back to school. But then it will be his decision. Not yours, not Holden's. Are you trying to undermine Holden? Is that what this is about? No, if that's what Holden's about, I want what's best for my son. This isn't it. All right. Now, why was it fine for him to work with you at the Foundation, but not to work with me at my company? The Foundation was set up to help people. Grimaldi shipping is part of your family's long, ugly history. I never wanted him to be a part of that, and I didn't think you did either. The shipping business is legitimate. I made sure of that. I know what you're doing here. I'm offering my son a job. No, you're not. You're trying to stake a claim to him, and it won't work. Lily, I love Luciano just as much.
much as you do. What about the rest of your twisted family? They have an interest in your company, too. All those embezzler uncles and, and drug-running aunts and lunatic cousins. You think I've forgotten about that girl that kidnapped my son and, and tried to kill him and then wanted to have his baby? Really? Cara, I know you don't want to hear this, but Luciano is a grown man. You and Holden have done a wonderful job in raising him, but now it's time for you to realize that we bring up our children to let them go. Damien told me that this job has a lot of opportunities for travel. I could travel with Noah. I mean, isn't seeing the world getting an education in its own right? What else did Damien yeah. promise you? <sighs> nothing, Dad. Nothing. It's a job. It's just a job. And if I take it, it doesn't mean that I'm rejecting you. I never said that. Look, you're my father. You are the one person in the world that I respect more than anyone else, and that is not going to change. But I have to do what's right for me, and I would hope that you'd accept that. And I respect that it is your decision to make, but I do not approve of you tying yourself to Damien. Well, I'm sorry you feel this way, Holden. I'm just trying to give Luchan some choices. Yeah, and we're trying to help him make the right choices. Well, we both want what's best for him, huh? Well, then why don't you take your offer off the table? Why should he? He shouldn't. Lily. Luke is mature enough to make this decision for himself. That's not what you said before you left. Oh, he's managed to manipulate her again. If anyone is manipulating anyone, it's us. Bringing the Dean over here, trying to convince Luke to do what we want him to do. Lily. I'm sorry, Holden. But we have to trust Luke to make the right decision for himself. Holden, I came here because I wanted everything out in the open between us. Like what exactly? Your underhanded attempt to co-opt our son? That's not what I'm doing. You couldn't if you tried. And, and look, I will abide by your wishes. If you want me to withdraw my offer, I will. Well, what about me? I mean, don't I get any say in this at all? Yes, you do. I said it's your choice. And it seems pretty obvious that you're going to make the wrong one. The wrong one for you. Dad, I want to do this. Good luck. And now that you've done your damage, you can leave. Well, I'm off. Uh, Damien, I'll see you out. I'm afraid you're about to deliver a lecture, so <laughs> let's have it. I know you. I know you haven't changed. I know about you and Dusty. I don't know how you got through that, I guess, by the skin of your teeth. Because you love games, don't you? Do you have a point? The game that you're playing with, Lillian Holden, you can't win it. I'm not playing any games. You think you can steal Luke? You can't. I know I can't. I wouldn't try. Well, I'll be watching you. And I played a few games in my day, and I might just be a step ahead of you. What was that about? Your grandmother, she is uh, an interesting woman. <laughs> I've realized. Look, I wish they were more supportive. Because I'm very excited. So am I. So am I, son. But hey, nothing is written in stone. So if you change your mind, I'll understand. I won't. I've made my decision. Good. And don't worry about your parents, your grandmother wants to see how good this thing will be for you. It'll all work out. You really want him to do this? Of course I'd rather he didn't. But I think anyone his age would have a hard time turning down a job that takes you all over the world. Only it isn't just a job, is it? It's his life. On the next As the World Turns. You can't keep me away from Damien, and nobody else can either.